Hello and welcome to Rotted Reviews. A good friend of the channel reached out to me via the Patreon and Discord asking me about this mid-90s cheese fest of a film, Brain Scan. Made in 1994 with a story written by Brian Owens, screenplay by Andrew Kevin Walker, and directed by John Flynn, I was immediately curious what I'd be in for. John Flynn has his directorial filmography littered with action films like Out for Justice and nary a proper horror movie to be found. Brian Owens had only previously written and directed a 1992 movie called Happy Hell Night, and his only other credit was playing himself in a 1975 episode of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. As far as screenwriter Andrew Kevin Walker, this was his first film project, and he has since gone on to work on the screenplays of such films as Sleepy Hollow, 8mm, and 7. So there's just a whole lot that can go either way as far as the talent behind the film, and it intrigued me to see this middle-era Edward Furlong performance taking place between the two tentpole films of his career, in my mind at least, Terminator 2 in 1991 and American History X in 1998. Speaking of Edward Furlong, in this film he plays Michael, a teenager that lost his mother in a car accident as a young child and is now a bit of a misfit, an outcast, running the horror club at his high school and living in a lovely home with his dad, who spends all of his time working abroad and leaving Michael to fend for himself in pretty much every way imaginable. Though he may be lonely and directionless, Michael still makes do fairly well, clearly having a technical aptitude given the amount of gadgets and gizmos he surrounds himself with. So when he comes across an ad in Fangoria for a computer horror experience unlike anything he's ever known, he jumps at the chance to at least learn more about it, and in short order, an interactive CD-ROM disc of Brain Scan arrives, which puts him in a trance until he is in the game, with the instructions to commit a murder with sub-goals of destroying evidence and keeping a trophy. He wakes from the trance and, surprise, surprise, a news report gets released about a local murder detailing the crime scene exactly as he had played it out in the game. So overall, Brainspan was indeed a film full of cheese and was quite possibly one of the most 90s horror movies that I can recall. Chock full of plaid and angst, Michael and his surroundings were interesting and rich with detail. T. Ryder Smith did a pretty decent job as the trickster, a hybrid cross between Max Headroom, Steven Tyler, and Drop Dead Fred, who literally pops out of the screen and goads Michael into continuing to play the game and cover up the clues he accidentally left behind, complete with lead detective Frank Langella hot on his trail. There's a manic energy here that makes Brain Slam a fun film on the surface, but I also found it had a lot of difficulty keeping up the momentum it had built. Once the train had left the station and we were moving full speed ahead, everything kept stalling out with a core story element of, I didn't want to kill them, but you did, and you must continue. I won't. Then you'll get caught. Okay, then. And so on and so on, like a Ferris wheel of morality complete with loose bolts and carnival workers' tears holding the whole rickety mess together. I do like Edward Furlong. I consider Pet Cemetery 2 to be a hidden gem, and Detroit Rock City, great though it was, wouldn't have been the same without him. But I'd be lying if I said he brought a whole lot to the table in brain spam. From what I read, director Flynn wasn't fond of working with him, and production was plagued with conflict and arguments spilling over into, or from, custody issues of Edward between his mother and his aunt. Ultimately, the movie was only released in theaters for about two weeks before being pulled, due to both critic and audience reception. Nevertheless, looking beyond a bit of a bland performance from our lead and the pacing issues that plagued most of the middle of the film, I still found a lot to love about this movie. I'm not going to be so bold as to attempt making a case for greatness, but as someone that loves the 90s and loves cheesy horror, Brain Van scratched a very particular itch that some fans of this channel would likely appreciate. There is a good mix of practical effects and some of the worst mid-90s CGI I have ever seen, and I stand the Langoliers hard. Where some might see this as a con, I instead see it as a fun selling point that only adds one more foot flavor level to the cheese I enjoyed so much here. So this is currently available to watch for free on Tubi TV, at least here in America, and if you have an hour and 40 minutes to kill, I can certainly think of worse ways to spend it then checking out the 1994 movie Brain Scan. Thank you for joining me here. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Take care of each other, and remember next time you want to watch a horror movie, first make sure that it's good and rotted.